What's up, my guys? Dr. Jordan Peterson. The two of us, we understand each other. He's the internet's dad, and I'm the internet's mommy. So listen, children, because here are the three things I absolutely love about Jordan Peterson. Number one, he speaks for the marginalized. I'm glad my better half gives you guys a voice to follow because all I do is talk shit most of the time. Whether it's your clothes, cars, or dating profiles, you boys do make some pretty dumb choices on a regular basis. Number two, he wants men to be men. I've been telling you guys to man up for a long time. And part of being a man is accepting and respecting things that make you, you. You guys are big, strong, and assertive. So why are you listening to people telling you to be small, weak, and passive? As Jordan would say, you need to be a monster. So let that monster out of its cage every once in a while and learn how to control it. Women love that. Number three, he preaches personal responsibility. Again, thank God a man is finally saying it. With all the advice that I give you, the one common denominator is that you have control of everything I suggest. The girl at the bar, you're choosing not to approach. A better body, you're choosing not to go to the gym. That dream job, you're choosing not to pursue it. In the wise words of Dr. Peterson, find the heaviest thing you can lift and carry it. I'm choosing to give you free advice every day. Now you have to choose to adopt it. What's up, my guys? I love airports. Planes, traveling, pilots. What's there to hate? Oh yeah, the people. Disgraceful. You get it together and have some class. Here are the five guys to not be at an airport. The sandal wearer. The Jesus sandals. Really? You can't be serious. You're telling me you're about to walk through the TSA line barefoot? I can't imagine the amount of foot fungus you're treading those hairy mantos through. Either get TSA pre-check or invest in some sneakers. This is an airport, not a hippie meetup. The gate rusher. Do me a favor, stop breathing down my neck and take a step back. You're in group nine. They're going to check your bag bud maybe those extra steps to baggage claim will do you some good the sleeper these people always really intrigue me we're in philadelphia you're really about to leave those bags unattended please don't leave your bags unattended also, how the fuck are you falling asleep in that chair? Do you have any sense of how horrible you look? No one wants to see a man-child in a fetal position with his face buried in that grimy chair. The should-have-been-first-class guy. This is the obnoxious dude suffering an economy that has to remind everybody that he doesn't typically sit with the common folks. He basically goes into cardiac arrest at the very moment a baby starts crying. I know, Steve. It's ridiculous. At this point, you should just fly private if you have that much money. God forbid. The what are you gonna do about this guy? Listen, all 153 of us have a canceled Light, Gerald. Get off your high horse. They're certainly not giving you a refund. I feel like this needs a part two. Making your home modern and beautiful is easier than you think with 5050 RGB SMD strip lights. Bright, uniform, ambient lighting for anywhere in your room. Use exactly the length you need thanks to the cuttable design. Waterproof properties and the use of double copper make them durable and long-lasting in all conditions. Change the colors, effects, and brightness of the lights thanks to the wireless remote or the app on your phone. Change the look of your home. Order now. Make What's up, my guys? I love airports. Planes, traveling, pilots. What's there to hate? Oh yeah, the people. Disgraceful. You get it together and have some class. Here are the five guys to not be at an airport. The sandal wearer. The Jesus sandals. Really? You can't be serious. You're telling me you're about to walk through the TSA line barefoot? I can't imagine the amount of foot fungus you're treading those hairy mantos through. Either get TSA pre-check or invest in some sneakers. This is an airport, not a hippie meetup. The gate rusher. Do me a favor, stop breathing down my neck and take a step back. You're in group nine. They're going to check your bag bud maybe those extra steps to baggage claim will do you some good the sleeper these people always really intrigue me we're in philadelphia you're really about to leave those bags unattended please don't leave your bags unattended also, how the fuck are you falling asleep in that chair? Do you have any sense of how horrible you look? No one wants to see a man-child in a fetal position with his face buried in that grimy chair. The should-have-been-first-class guy. This is the obnoxious dude suffering an economy that has to remind everybody that he doesn't typically sit with the common folks. He basically goes into cardiac arrest at the very moment a baby starts crying. I know, Steve. It's ridiculous. At this point, you should just fly private if you have that much money. God forbid. The what are you gonna do about this guy? Listen, all 153 of us have a canceled Flight, Gerald. Get off your high horse. They're certainly not giving you a refund. I feel like this needs a part two.
What's up, my guys? So you miss her, huh? If you're thinking about texting her, this video's for you. Here's some do's and don'ts of texting your ex. Don't text her if she's in a new relationship. Oh wait, you can convince her to leave him for you, right? Yeah, you're setting yourself up for failure. Do you really want to be with somebody that will leave a significant other at the sight of a text from an ex? It's only a matter of time until she does it to you. Don't text her to arrange pickup for your possessions. Oh, she has your favorite jacket? I don't give a shit. You're looking for an excuse to see her. You don't give a flying fuck about the jacket. Text her your address and tell her to ship it to you. Problem solved. Do text her if you've accepted the breakup, moved past it, and started thinking about her again. This is a rare decision and one that should never be acted on impulsively. Rekindling something from the past is definitely possible. It's okay to reach out when you're thinking about somebody and are detached from the situation. If you can clearly see where it went wrong, know where you can improve next time, think you can make each other better, and accept that she might not want to talk to you, go for it. But remember, don't immediately reattach if they do re-engage. Don't text her because you're lonely. That's a you problem, not a her problem. You know what I did when I was lonely? I I took my adult ass to figure skating lessons. Did I look like a complete asshole falling on my ass? Yeah. But was I able to distract myself and make a shitload of new friends? Also yes. Go try a new hobby little you would have been proud of. Don't sulk in your bed and watch TikToks for 8 hours straight. Don't text your ex if you know she still has feelings for you. You'll never rekindle because of destiny. You'll only rekindle because of desperation. <laughs> What's up, my guys? Breakups are already tough, so why are you making it worse? I know it feels like you're not going to move past her anytime soon, but I promise you, you actually will. Let's not slow down the process and instead avoid these breakup don'ts. Don't keep using closure as an excuse to see her. I hate to break it to you, but you're probably not going to get closure. Find your own. The only thing you wanted to accomplish from this interaction was an opportunity to get her back. Just stop. Don't stalk. The best way to move on is to distance yourself from this situation at all costs. Stalking her Snapchat activity every 10 minutes is not not only going to send you into a spiral, but you're allowing her to hold all of the power here. Why are you letting an ex's actions still dictate how you feel? If you have to, ask them to stop sharing their location. Remove their family from social media if it's too painful to see. Selfishness is not always a bad thing. Don't worry about her finding somebody better. She can't find a better you. You're the only you. But here's some hard truth. While she may not find a better you, she will eventually find somebody better for her. If you still have respect for that person, take comfort in it because the same thing's gonna happen to you. Don't outline all of the reasons she should take you back. I don't care if you wrote a 14 page dissertation. Not gonna lie, I've done it before and it doesn't work. The other person will never truly respect you when you literally hand them your heart. What's up my guys? Yep, I'm a little late to the party, but we still have a few hours left to talk shit. Here are the guys not to be this Halloween. Donald Trump. We all think we could do a great Trump. Excuse me. But you need to be more honest with yourself. Unless your impression is a 7 out of 10 or better, you're just annoying. Spare me the try hard cringe. The dude in the skeleton costume. Are you kidding me? This might be more unoriginal than a girl dressed as a cat. Quick question. How many years in a row have you worn that musty smelling costume? The dude that was drugged here by his girlfriend. This poor bastard. The sexy SWAT team. Really? I can just tell by looking at you both that she calls the shots in this relationship grow a pair the my only personality trait is the gym guy he's probably the overzealous asshole in some johnny bravo or hulk costume you just needed an excuse to leave the house shirtless little man syndrome the group of guys in onesies these are most definitely the dudes taking part in the bar crawl listen bud there's literally nothing flattering about a onesie i really hope you're just out here making this a dude's night because you're not about to wipe somebody up in that rag What's up, my guys? In the spirit of keeping it real, I'm letting you in on women's best kept secrets today. Y'all really thought I was against you, huh? Nah, I'm not here to gatekeep. Here's the crazy psycho shit girls do. Buyer beware. Zillow. Zillow is a girl's best friend. I hope you know that if you invite her over your house or even your parents' house, she knows the year you bought it, mortgage payment, and yearly taxes before she even steps in the door. Oh, and if you live in an apartment, she's already matched the layout with the one on the website and knows your monthly rent. Exes. You might not know what your exes are up to, but your girlfriend certainly does. Maybe you haven't talked to them in years. Years. Don't worry, your new girl has already found your old girl's visco from 2012. Same with your family. You thought she was seeing your mom and dad for the first time when you brought her home for the holidays? Nah, she already stalked all of their Facebook pages. And yes, she's already seen your baby photos, Steve. Your job. If you met on a dating app, she already knows what you do and what company you work for before you've even gone on the date. Thanks, LinkedIn. And with that, she was able to calculate your yearly salary and she already knows what the salary of your next promotion will be. I'm just being honest. Your mugshot. Yes, your mugshot. Don't even think for a second you were about to hide this from her. It's public knowledge, babe. One quick Google search and your cover is blown.